Well, overnight, the U.S. Senate came together to unanimously pass a $2 trillion financial package to aid American companies and workers during the coronavirus outbreak. The package was agreed on after days of back-and-forth negotiations between Democrats, Republicans and the White House. With the U.S. now having over 1,000 coronavirus deaths, President Donald Trump has said that he wants citizens back at work after the Easter holidays. For the latest out of the U.S., we speak to Voice of America's White House uh, Bureau Chief Steve Herman. Steve, thank you so much for chatting to us. Let's start with what's happening on Capitol Hill, just a few kilometers away from where you are at the White House. What happens for, for Americans now? Uh, do they each get a check? Where does, how is this relief kind of doled out? Yes, well, whether you're a big corporation or uh, an average taxpayer, you're uh, probably going to see some money uh, from this. There is a cutoff, I believe, over uh, an income of $99,000 per year for individuals who won't be getting any money. But a uh, family of four uh, can expect to receive about uh, $3,400 in uh, a direct deposit or a check if they don't have that sort of system set up with their bank. Uh, but all of this that's being put together will um, basically prop up uh, Americans and the economy for a period of just a few months. Uh, we just heard from House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, who heads the opposition Democrats uh, just a few minutes ago. Uh, she says that as uh, soon as this passes tomorrow in the House, and she predicts it uh, will definitely uh, pass, so there may be some Republican opposition, uh, that they will begin working on phase four, but uh, the Senate majority leader last night said uh, that the senators will not be coming back until April 20th. So uh, we, we expect it'll be a few weeks before we see any a movement towards a vote on the fourth phase of what is already a record amount of uh, stimulus money that has been approved uh, uh, by the U.S. Senate. Let's talk about the man sitting in the Oval Office behind you. Of course, he says he's done a hell of a job. He's also saying that he wants to ease some of the restrictions. Of course, the expert on infectious diseases, Dr. Anthony Fauci, is saying the virus is going to dictate the timeline. What do you expect is going to happen, and how much power does Donald Trump have to ease those restrictions? Well, he is the president of the United States, head of the executive branch of government, uh, and he does have a tremendous power and uh, could uh, pressure uh, the Centers for Disease Control to uh, revise their guidelines. Uh, uh, the guidelines that are in, a, in place right now for social distancing end at uh, the end of uh, this month. The president's uh, been talking openly about seeing packed pews in the churches across America on Easter Sunday. Uh, if you talk to any epidemiologist, uh, they're horrified by uh, that prospect of something like that happening so soon. What is likely to happen is this is going to be left up to state governors, uh, city mayors, uh, if they don't have um, a, an outbreak in their city, there may be more relaxed measures. But even then, we're hearing from the medical experts cautioning us, just because you don't have a lot of cases right now doesn't mean you're not going to get them if you uh, don't keep these uh, social distancing uh, uh, protocols uh, in force. And frankly, in a lot of places across the country, they are not in force right now. Steve, thank you so much for that. Steve Herman, who is Voice of America's White House Bureau Chief there.